I uh, may or may not have just got the spiteful scutum. I think that's how you say it. Scutum, right? Looks like scutum. Scrotum, scutum, who knows? But I just got it. It does all of the new meme stuff. So it uh, shoots two shots, damage, da -da 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 -da. multiple targets, pass through obstacles, ignores the defense, so like a C wand. It stuns for four seconds, but it doesn't say it here. Potentially, this has the uh, the ability to be one of the most game breaking things with uh, with a max divine pet magic heal. Because basically, I can stun Ogma and then stun again, and I can just keep perma doing that. So I can perma stun and perma Ogma at the same time, which is actually a little bit a little bit messed up. We'll see if we can uh, get that going. But uh, in the meantime, I thought I'd just give it a bit of a test run, just in case you guys didn't know what it does. Let's give it a bit of a... Oh, sh shoot. I'm actually kind of curious. Yeah, so that does potentially have the ability to be quite game-breaking. I feel like I want to test it out on something. Uh, my pixie's not really relevant anymore because uh, I'm not just ogmering everything. The unfortunate thing about this is I've actually got to aim, which is kind of annoying. So with my pet, obviously, it'll allow me to showcase this quite a lot better. Ooh, here we go. Toxic sewers. We'll do a sewers. What best way to showcase the item in a new dungeon that was released with it? Well, alongside it, I guess that makes sense. But yeah, I love the sewers, by the way. It's actually so fun. I love rushing it, but, you know, it is a bit sketch, and I, I probably shouldn't be rushing it too hard on my on my knight, you know, because I would rather not die on this character currently. But yeah, so shield ignores defense. It's it's sort of like an Ogma then. I mean, the Ogma just like breaks defense. But this one, ooh, it's interesting. I really want to test out its ability to perma stun and Ogma. I think I'd need to set up a script to do that though, because I'm not sure if I'd be able to change or swap out my items fast enough. But you know, <laughs> we'll see how that goes. We'll see if I can set something up, and uh, we'll test it out. So basically, my uh, my mana is just replenishing way before the stun runs out. So it's either a really, really reassuring kind of stun, <laughs> so you can make sure you get it going, but I like it. It looks pretty cool. So this is the Spiteful Scrotum test run. I'm not sure how many people have this in game at the moment. I mean, I was looking at the knights, and like, it didn't seem to be too many people. Oh, hell yeah. Look at that. We got some Shadow Mangus going on. Pretty stoked about that. Not gonna lie. I mean, if I had the Fire Battle Armor, my set would look pretty nice. I mean, I could chuck on the Sword of Illumination, Fire Battle Armor, and I don't know what ring, maybe keep the Decade Ring. That might look pretty nice. Let's see if we can chain Ogma, um, chain Ogma thingy. Ogma Spiteful Scrotum, let's go. This is going to be really tedious. I'm going to chuck on my eye. We'll put on the pixie, because we don't want to be clicking. All right, bam. Bam. Oh, no, I missed. Did we get it? I think I missed. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. This is not a good idea. Oh, right, because Ogma does it... How long does the Ogma last for? Surely it's not that long. So maybe two bursts of that, and then... I'm actually going to quickly check to see the Ogmas. I need to set up a script if I'm going to do it, but I don't really want to do that right now. <laughs> four seconds, so they're both four seconds. All right, that's not too bad then. All right, this shield is definitely not good for the sewers. I feel like I should be chucking on the Onyx shield because that's where it's all at. Oh, wow, it does have significantly higher damage than the Ogma, but, you know, two shots in comparison to five. There's no no real challenge. The Ogma still does not have a competitor in terms of absolutely decimation. So I reckon it's a pretty balanced item. I mean, stun for four seconds, sure, that's pretty bad. <laughs> but, you know, I reckon it's... Oh, Jesus Christ. I reckon it's balanced in the sense it's got the two shots. It does more damage, but... Oh, fuck, that scared the shit out of me. It does more damage, but not more damage, if that makes sense, because you won't be shooting as many shots. So, overall, I think it's, like, on par, possibly. Why am I not using the item? I was doing a showcase. I reckon it's on par with the tier 6 shield. I mean, the, the 4 second stun, and if you're good at aiming, does indeed put it 
probably at a way higher rank than the tier six, but it's interesting. The more I'm playing around with it, like the nicer it is. I mean, with a level 89 magic, magic heal pet, you'll be able to perma stun. So, I mean, it is quite high still to be able to perma stun. But, you know, oh, it's armor break him. Who knows? <laughs> oh, yes, we got the death. So this is actually my first white bag from the new UTs that have been released. Pretty happy it was the shield, actually. It's the one that I wanted. Sprite World, see how it does. Oh, wow. Usually, I just kill stuff in one stun. So it's not helping with the godlines. Godlines. It's not helping with the godlands grinding, because usually, I would just decimate the godlands on my knight. I mean, the knight itself is already a broken class, and with this item, it's, it's even more broken. <laughs> so... If you can aim it, you know, it's going to be pretty devastating. But then again, it is a quite rare UT from what I've seen. So not many people are going to be having this item. So yeah, I would kill it normally in its first phase there. So it definitely isn't as powerful as Ogma or the tier 6. I mean, with this shield, because it does pierce armor, if you don't have an Ogma, it might be a good option to use possibly on really high defense enemies. I haven't really looked at the stats. I'm not sure if the uh, the DPS calculator is up. But right now, I'm liking it. It looks, I, I'm not sure about the sprite to be honest. I, I don't know about it. It looks okay. It doesn't look great. It's by no means as sexy as the Ogma, but it's it's not as awful as I thought it would be. I mean, when compared to my actual set, it does look absolutely horrendous. And it is, it's not allowing me to, to shred the gold lands like I normally would. Like, if I put on the Ogma, like, pretty much every stun's an insta-kill on an enemy, and then I just backtrack and just finish him off, basically. So, I can do a lot more with an Ogma in terms of speed. Yeah, this shield, I feel like I'm rambling on too much. I'm probably just going to stop. I'll just play a bit more. We'll do an Abyss, and we'll probably end the video there showcasing the item oh yes we got a we got a tea room that's a guaranteed death because they didn't change the death drop rates in the tea rooms which is pretty nifty oh hell yeah check out this stun boy you've got nothing against this i should probably be using my uh, d blade but you know it is what it is bam since we're going to be ogmering anyway we'll start we'll start with a stun switch the ogma oh, i missed it try and stun Ogma, oh, I missed, I missed the stun, oh well, <laughs> woo, so I mean, it's okay, I guess, I mean, it's really tedious trying to stun Ogma, but you, if you had a script for it, obviously, it would be super easy, just like, it just auto-chains it for you, so you wouldn't even need to do anything, uh, that would be a little bit game-breaking, I have a feeling, so if you have this shield and you have an Ogma, you're gonna be probably the most overpowered knight if you can uh, get around it. I'm actually so annoyed though, because I was doing the Janus right, and I was like, oh crap, I haven't got my recording software up. So I started to open it, and it takes probably about 30 seconds to load. Janus dies, the chest spawns, and I'm like, oh god, what if I get something? I'm going to be so annoyed. And Bandicam was just loading up, and I was like, oh my god, oh my god, it's going to be so close. The chest dies, I see the white bag. My heart sinks because I'm so devastated that I didn't record the actual drop. I did record the aftermath, but I didn't record it drop. And that's the most satisfying part about like a drop recording. You want to get the death of the boss that you killed, and then you want to see that white bag drop. But I didn't get it. So I really apologize for that, guys. Just I was not on the ball. I was uh, I'm not going to make any, any excuses. <laughs> but yeah. I got the new shield. So far, it is pretty nifty. It has the potential to be quite game-breaking, but since it's so rare, I guess that does compensate, and its damage is a lot lower. It does have an increased range with a reduced MP cost, but I do reckon it does balance out, and at the end of the day, Ogma is still going to be the hands-down winner in terms of best shield. doesn't stun, though, so, you know, that's debatable. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a bit of a kind of a relaxed video. I wasn't really expecting to do it because obviously I wasn't expecting to get the shield. But I have seen a few videos on the, like, testing the new items. And I don't think I've seen one on this. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe for more. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.